What's up, guys? Tyler from DualCasterMage.com here. This week, we've got the conclusion to the March 2018 Dual Commander Discord League tournament with rounds four and five. We're at round four, and I'm continuing to pilot Karlov, Black White, Life Gain, and Beatdown. My opponent is running Prosh, Skyrider of Care, which somehow I've never played against before this. Turns out you can build it to be one of the best combo decks in the entire format. Let's get to it. All right, I'm going to play, and I see a quite strong hand here. I got a bunch of one-drops, which are extra good in this deck. You really want a one-drop. And uh, fa uh, Faith Shield to protect Karlov. I play Sacred Cat turn one. This can uh, potentially grow Karlov into a 4-4 four -four on turn two by attacking. It has a nice Embalm ability, too. All right, my opponent plays Llanowar Elves on his turn one passes. Uh, I draw Bojuka Bog, so now I just attack for one, play the Bog, so I can kind of sequence this a little bit better. I play Soul Mender, and uh, the idea here is to wait until next turn to play Karlov, because I'll have uh, mana up for Faith Shield as protection. All right, my opponent casts some more Acceleration, two two Acceleration cards, actually, uh, Boreal Druid and Sakura Tribe Elder. All right. So I play Karlov and attack with the cat, but as expected, he just blocks and sacks before damage with the Sakura Tribe Elder, so I don't gain life. So I, mul I, I make Karlov into a 4-4. Four -four. It's the best I can do. All right, and he does not draw a untapped land on his turn, so he plays Talisman of Impulse. He, if he had an untapped land, he could have played Prosh that turn. So luckily, you get one turn reprieve here, but he has uh, infinite ramp, it seems, with Growth Spasm to get an Eldrazi spawn and a land and a Draga Tree Speaker. All right. So, a lot, lot of chump blockers, but uh, he just blocks the cat here with Draga Tree Speaker. I think he wants to um, kind of go for the card advantage route. I embalm the cat, holding up Faith Shield. Uh, Prosh comes out for my opponent as his next turn. And he has mana to spare, so gets a bunch of kobolds and plays Tinderwall. And then he passes. I, I just use this opportunity to take out Prosh with Karlov's ability because I don't think I'm going to be able to get through all these chump blockers. I attack with uh, the team, or everything but Soul Mender, then gain some more life. He does not block Karlov, but I can't actually kill him. He goes to six. So pass the turn, holding up Vraska's Contempt and Faith's Shield. But he has quite a card here. Hit run. Well, just the run part, really. Uh, he has, I think, eight attacking creatures. So they would all get plus eight, plus O. Oh which is a ton of damage, but I, I take out one uh, one attacking creatures, but it's not nearly enough. Um, go to uh, negative 13 life, I believe. <laughs> so 40 some power worth of attackers, and one he one shots me with, with hit and run. All right, game two, I'm on the play and see a uh, pretty good hand. I have only white sources, but I have only white cards, so I'm gonna keep this. And I got a soul warden, which is great. All right, pass the turn. Uh, on my turn, I draw Collective Brutality, but I just play the Jitte. My plan now is just to get some get some counters in this Jitte as fast as possible so I can take out any little mana dorks he has, hopefully slow him down. He plays three visits on his turn to ramp for any forest, so it can be a mountain forest or swamp forest. He gets an overgrown tomb. On my turn, I draw Polluted Delta, which is nice. It's a black source, but I still just want to get counters in this Jitte as fast as possible rather than play Karlov. So I get some two counters in the Jitte, pass the turn. He uh, gets a fourth land and plays Horn of Ramos, which is a really niche card. I kind of like it. I like it a lot in this deck specifically because it ramps you two mana. If you, if you have a exactly six uh, converting mana cost commander, it can uh, kind of ramp you twice, essentially. Um, so now I play Karlov, gain two life, or gain uh, two instances of life gain here to make him a 6-6. Six, six. Attack with Soul Warden, get some counters in the GT. Now I have four counters in the GT, which is really good. So he, uh, he plays Sylvan Scrying. Should be able to play uh, Prosh this turn. He has enough mana. Let's see here. Gets a command tower. Oh, does not have enough mana to play Prosh. Excuse me. He has Perforos instead, which is kind of a card you want to play before Prosh anyway. Uh, very explosive. Uh, by itself represents 14 points of damage just by casting Prosh and getting that trigger. On my turn, uh, the coast is pretty much clear, though, for me to win here because I can play two creatures um, to grow Karlov. Another plus four, plus four off of the Soul Warden life gain. And then I have a ton of counters in my Jitte. So uh, Karlov could be, I think, like a 14, maybe a 18, 18, but just by himself. So I start taking counters off the Jitte and my opponent concedes. Doesn't make me go through the rest of the motions. All right, game three. I'm on the draw and see a uh, pretty good hand. It's missing a one drop, but it's got 
some evasion for Karlov, some life gain, which is nice. Oh, I draw one drop. Quite a good one too, Soldier of the Pantheon. Uh, very kind of a good card on its own, but it has just that ability to gain some incidental life, which is really nice. All right, on my opponent's turn, he plays a turn two Farseek, so he's going to once again ramp. Uh, appears his deck is about 60% ramp spells uh, and giant massive uh, <laughs> pump your whole team spells. All right, I play Karlov attack for two. And he goes Court of Calling on his turn four. So X is one. You're going to search for a creature card with Converted Mana Cost one, put it directly into play. Just going to main phase this. It looks like he's got Birds of Paradise. That's a very expensive birds. Okay, play Sun Scourge Champion to just kind of continue curving out here, gain some life, make Karlov bigger. Uh, this is a nice card. It's kind of a mid rangey card, but it's good in some long, longer attrition matchups. And it, has, it potentially can gain life twice, which is nice. All right, attack for uh, six damage, put him to 12. And here comes Prosh. Uh, he did some double double acceleration, so this Prosh is out like two turns early. All right, that's a scary card. All right, Griff Spoon. I put Griff Spoon on Karlov, which uh, forces him to chump block with Prosh if he wants to uh, not take the damage here. Looks like he's taking the damage, but he's going to three. And I kind of have this trick up my sleeve. I, I don't even reveal my black source until I have uh, I, I decide whether he blocked or not. So I play this Essence Harvest, which uh, drains is going to drain him for about uh, seven damage. So that should do it. Interestingly, my opponent after the match told me that the reason he didn't block Karlov that last turn is because he could Diabolic Intent for Beastmaster's Ascension and have just enough creatures to turn it on and kill me. So it looks like I won just in the nick of time there. I definitely have a lot more respect for Prashno after seeing how explosive and redundant the combos are. This puts me at 4-0 in matches and 8-1 in games for the league so far. Only one match to go, so stay tuned for the final where I battle Leovold. Of course, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.